I am Anil Kumar and now we will investigate how to find the number of roots, real roots, for a quadratic equation. The question here is, use the discriminant to determine the number of roots for the quadratic equation x minus 1 divided by 2 minus x plus 1 divided by 3 equals to x squared. Now let us write it in proper form. We have fractions with denominator 2 and 3. Now in this case, lowest common denominator is 6. So if I multiply every term by 6, I will get rid of fractions, right? So that's the first statement. So let's begin by writing the equation, which is x minus 1 divided by 2 minus x plus 1 divided by 3 equals to x squared. To get rid of fractions, we have to multiply each term by 6, right? So once you do that, it becomes 3 times, right? So this could be written as 3 times x minus 1 minus 2 times x plus 1 equals to 6x squared, right? How do you get 3? Because 2 divides into 6 3 times and 3 divides into 6 2 times, right? So you have to multiply both the terms like this. I hope that is clear. Now let us expand and simplify. So when you expand, you get 3x minus 3. Here you get minus 2x minus 2 equals to 6x squared. Now bring all the terms together. So we have 6x squared. 3x minus 2x is x. When you bring it on the right side, it becomes minus x. Minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5. On the other side, it will be plus 5 equals to 0. Now we need to factor this. 6 times 5 is 30, right? And what you need is minus 1. Anyway, now we need to use determinant to determine number of roots for the quadratic equation. Now, what is the discriminant? Now the question is, so we have, so, so what we have now is the quadratic equation 6x squared minus x plus 5 equals to 0. The question is, use the discriminant to determine the number of roots for the quadratic equation. Discriminant means we have to figure out what is the value of b squared minus 4ac. Now b is coefficient of x, a is coefficient of x squared, c is the constant. So in this equation, we know b is equal to minus 1, right? a is equal to 6 and c is equal to 5. So let's find what is the value of b square minus 4 is c to get the answer, right? So we have b square minus 4 a c. b square, b is minus 1, so it is minus 1 square minus 4 times a 6 and c is 5. So minus 1 square is 1, minus 6 times 5 is 30, 30 times 4, 3 times 4 is 12, 120, right? So we get a negative value. So b square minus 4 is c, for us is minus 119, right? Since b square minus 4 is c is less than 0, what should we conclude? The number of roots, when I say the number of roots, let me change this to number of real roots. Let me write this real roots, right? So our answer is, since this is less than zero, uh, the number of real roots is zero, right? So we really don't have real roots as a solution for the given equation. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.